Oh. OMG WG! Welcome back to another video guys. Today we have Beyblade Burst Evolution unboxing for you guys. This is Kalazar K3 in its original anime colors. This is another attack type B. It's one of my favorites. Super super thick layer. I'm gonna open this up and show you guys. So let's take a look at the back of the box. Um, this Beyblade features the extending blades. So the crown and the head comes out, so it extends out to uh, give you some more attack power. So this rubber driver is the same as the one we get from Killer Death Scyther. It has the tight spin path, rubber driver. It's also known as the hunter driver. So attack type A, we get low stamina because of that rubber driver. But overall, really like this Beyblade because it comes with a frame as well. Lots of parts in this Beyblade that you can get to improve your skills in your Beyblade burst battles. So let's open this up, show you guys what we got. So even in like Beyblade Burst Turbo, this Beyblade is shown a lot in the, the side battles from other characters. The randoms? Yeah, the randoms where uh, they, they have their own like recolors. So in Beyblade Burst Evolution, obviously Kalzar is owned by that special character. But then in the next season, everybody started using Kalzar. So how does that work? Like do kids in the anime just start like copying other bays? Like are they like 3D printing them out because they see it in the yeah. championships? Dude, it's just like that in Metal Fight. It's What's like, the market like? Why do these yeah. randoms start using like main characters yeah. in Beyblades? But you never saw like another El Drago. But then it's like you always saw like other like Dark Wolves and stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Dude, that's, that's, that's just the know. flaw of animation, <laughs> man. They don't want to think about another... What's the anime like, like thoughts behind this? Like. Dude, the truth is animators can draw another hundred different Beyblades for all the side characters. <laughs> so they just reuse Yeah, the reuse color. the animation. That's the reality of it. Alright, well, I'm sure this Beyblade is actually quite good. So the side characters are maybe just like 3D printing them out um, in the anime, that is. So tell us in the comments below, what, what's your theory behind this, um, this phenomenon, right? So the Beyblade we have here is Kalazar K3. We have 7U, so U is under. That's under frame right here. It has four protrusion points. So this is um, more meant for attack type combos. And then the performance tip or driver we have is Hunter. So the coolest thing about Hasbro releasing Kalzor K3 in this original color is that in Takara Tomy, you can only get this Beyblade from the random booster. So in Takara Tomy's world, this is a really, really rare Beyblade. But in Hasbro's world, you can actually get this as a starter. So that's a plus. For you guys who want this Beyblade, collect them all, make sure you check it out. You can get this separately in the Hasbro starter packs. Okay, so let's put the Beyblade together. So you'll see on the bottom part of the layer, there's actually a sub-layer, this purple part here. So this part helps control the gimmick of the Beyblade. So I'll see, I'll show you like, okay, we'll put it together first. So I'll show you guys the gimmick here. So once the Beyblade is fully locked, right, the yellow part, so this crown and the teeth part, is actually locked in so that part you can't move it at all but once your Beyblade you know gets the middle slope wise you'll see these parts actually are able to come out in and out so when the Beyblade is spinning right it's spinning these parts actually extend um, so that will give you a bit more attack power so that's pretty cool but that will only activate if your Beyblade is you know halfway towards the bursting mark so another way to get Kalzer K3 is from the Ultimate Tournament set. So this is the recolor version. In my opinion, I really like the uh, original color a lot more because it, it's just like the one in the anime. So I'll just give you a comparison. We got a Takara Tomy one here. It almost looks the same. Like, look at it's this. It's pretty close, other than the driver close. color, I guess. So of course, Takara Tomy one actually clicks. Takara Tomy weighs 46 grams. Hasbro one slides, and we have 44 grams, 43 grams. Oh wait. Dang, lacking a bit. Oh, lacking three grams there. Yeah, so it's slightly lighter. I'm not sure which part it is from, but um, do we want to find out? Let's find out. Hasbro, 12 gram layer. Takara Tomy, 15 gram layer. So, oh, that's a big difference though. Weight. Usually it's only like one gram difference between the layers. Yeah, so the weight's from the layer. Huh. Looks the same to me though. Test spin time! Kalzar K3, attack type Boom. 3, 2, 1, one go. Boom Kalzar. Boom Kalzar, yeah. So the full name for this guy, um, aka known as Kalzar K3, is Boom Kalzar. So that's also used in the anime. 
with the Hunter driver. It's very fast around the stadium. What an amazing color. Really thick, so nice. thick layer. Gonna do some mad attack in the stadium against your other base. So yeah, that's basically it. Maybe we'll do a uh, Takara Tomi versus Hasbro battle. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments below. Um, tell us what other battles you want to see next. And as always, Geeks out.